So I wanted to quickly cover the difference between imperative and declarative programming. This was something that took me some time to understand, so I figured I would explain it to you quickly. So the most common definition you'll see is that imperative programming shows you how to write code. And then declarative shows you what you want to get from the code. Now this kind of confused me for a little bit, so I want to show you an example. Let's pretend we have an app that says hello in the middle of the screen. An imperative solution would be for the code to tell the app to go change that text. So basically you go in and maybe you have a function called set text and it takes that text and changes it to whatever else you want. Now a declarative solution is completely different. A declarative solution pretty much tells a state that it wants to see a different text. Then it will update that state. The state causes a rebuild. And then on the screen, you should see your new text. Uh, difference is imperative is actually describing to the app or to whatever what you want to do. You want to change a text. Here we're saying we want to see a different text. It might seem like a small difference, but it actually ends up being a pretty big difference when developing. Now I wanted to show you this in a real world example. So here we have an array of seven numbers, and let's say we want to remove all the numbers that are above 10. You see the number 20 and 25, so pretty much we want those removed. So this is what the imperative solution for that would look like. It shows you how to actually do this. First, let's define a new list that we want with an array called array less than 10. And then we'll create a for loop that goes through every single item in the array. Then we check each element if it's less than 10, and then add that element into the new array that we have. Then afterwards, we're gonna print that array. You can see this solution tells exactly what the computer needs to do, go through every element, and add it to a new array, and then print it out. Then we have the declarative solution, where you pretty much tell the compiler what you want to see. So here we can start right away with the print statement because we're telling them what we want to print. We want to take the array, we want to find where, where the number in the array is less than 10. I want to take that and create a list out of it. And that's a declarative solution. So we're telling exactly what we want here. Now, if you go ahead and run that program by doing dart example.dart, we'll get literally the same exact thing. So that's the difference between imperative and declarative programming. Hopefully this explanation was clear enough. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share if this helped. And thanks for watching.